I can't tell you what I feel right now. I'm just surprised. I don't understand it. I don't know. I don't understand what happened. You think it's going to happen next year? 2012, maybe. No, no. This is the year. All the calculations indicate this is the year. It's locked in for 2011. So I don't understand why nothing has happened yet. Well, obviously, I haven't understood it correctly because we're still here. Either none of us got picked and we're all screwed, or great, and I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go fishing this summer. If we ended up dying here at Times Square, I mean, I just sort of wish that they would have dropped the ball at 6 p.m. and uh, we would have seen what happened. We were trying to film the guy. Really, all that happened at 6 was that my batteries died on my camera. Pretty excited. A little let down. I uh, went on a spending spree. Went out. Partied hard last night. Didn't work out. Now I gotta go get a, get a few more hours of work. No, we're not surprised at all. It's it's an interesting uh, situation because we do believe there will be a rapture. I mean, all these things are in the Bible, but it's also very clear that no one knows the day and the hour. So when someone comes out and says they know the day and the hour, we we know it's false. And uh, but that doesn't stop people. I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened. People get fooled all the time. And the simple truth is, is that no one can call the time of day when Jesus is coming again, because he is coming according to the Bible, but nobody can determine the time of day. That equals a false prophet. I think this is a spectacle, and I want it to be a part of it, and I want to see it, and I want to enjoy it. But in case something happens, then I have brought my toothbrush because I don't know how long this rapture is going to last and how long it will take for me to get to heaven. So I might have to brush my teeth and I brought my razor. I might have to shave on the way. Wednesday.